All right, here we go. The chat's ready. Three, two, one, go. Let's see who starts first. Okay, we're gonna start off with Raycor's audio. Gonna turn it up just a little bit. And don't worry about the minor delay between the runners. We do have, uh, we do have the in Discord countdown and stuff like that, so everything should be fine. Ooh, Raycor missing the duck jump. That's always, ooh, they're both missing the duck jump. That's always so scary, man. You never expect that. Um, but what I think people are scared of most is taking damage there. You take damage, there's not a whole lot you can really do. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate when that happens. All right, getting P-Speed in one, two, very nice. Old Man Beater Locks, oh, almost got the uh, secondary P-Speed. Gonna go for the Leaf Strap. We've seen that a couple times in this tournament. Seems to work out pretty well, being as I'm a 100% runner, I know I know the, the less stress from having Leaf in the Fortress versus not having the Leaf, so uh, I totally understand that. Very nice Raikor with the strats. Avoid the orb. We have seen some people get punished massively from uh, from getting hit by the center orb here, that old man beauty locks. That is it's just rough. Let's move to two. That's two bumps now for Raikor. He better get that bump game under control before he gets to world seven. It's gonna be the first one going for the MFP tunnel here. Let's see how it goes. Old man beauty locks right behind him. Oh, he's, it looked like he's not going to go for it, or he had missed an input. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Ooh, and Old Man Breedilox is also not going to be able to go for that one either. He's going to grab a shell so he doesn't take damage here. That's actually a pretty good backup. Um, I probably would have waited for the plant to shoot. I think that would be a little bit faster, but I think, you know, as long as you get through that taking damage, that's what's most important. Very nice, Rykor not getting the Fire Flower. He's going to have to go to the Mushroom House after this level. Fighting the Hammer Brother before this level, I feel like is one of the worst things that can happen. It might not be the slowest or anything, but I just hate the pattern it gives you. You have to wait to get Fire Flower. It's really annoying. Old Man Beardlock's getting stopped by the hole in the ground. Very unfortunate. This is going to cost them some time here. Oh, very nice. Okay. When uh, when you lose rhythm of that, that section, that, that's really rough. That's really rough. Raycord, getting Fire Flower, not the Leaf. Not gonna have that back pocket point. Old Man Beardy Lock's gonna do the extra map movements. Probably should have went to the Mushroom House first, uh, so he doesn't have to backtrack, but again, not not anything that's too crazy. And Raycord getting the Throne Jump, very nice. It's Raycord getting a Throne Jump. Uh, Old Man Beardy Lock's, does he get the Leaf? He goes for chest three. Team last chest, and he does get the leaf. Wow. He does get the leaf. Very nice. Not getting the throne jump, though. And they are on their way out of world one. Very nice to these runners. Good strong start from both of them. Alright, gotta watch out for those Cheerios. Old Man Beardy Locks getting his Fire Flower. Right on, right on. Here we go, entering World 2. Old Man Beardy- Oh, he was so close to a really, really clean Fire Kill. It was still pretty clean though, still pretty clean. Not losing Fire Flower from each runner, that's good. That's what you want to see. Uh, no MFP tunnel from each, but moving on to World 2, very nice. Uh, looks like Raikor's timer is going to be cut off a little bit. So let me minimize that and spread it across a little bit. There we go. There we go, looking good, looking good. All right, 2-1 coming up. Old Man Beater Locks, right core looks like he's not having any trouble at all. And 2-1, gonna do the turn back, but still get the star. 
So what happened was he turned back a little bit too early and too many frames had passed and it cycled back to the star. Right, Core, more of those overworld bumps. He's gonna go for his 10. Old Man Beerlock's missing the music notes, but he does clean it up right after. And right, Core does get his 10 bucks. Get that 10 bucks spade game. Not gonna go for the full clear, that's good. That's what we like to see, and he's out of there. All right, Old Man Beerlock's also gonna go down for the spade card game. He's gonna try and get... Oh yeah, he got the easy pattern, that's, that's a good one. As soon as he flipped over that 10, I knew exactly which one he was getting. No moat for Raghor either, that's good, man. Uh, as soon as you get points, you don't want to end up losing them. Oh, did Old Man Beaterlocks not get it? I, I guess he didn't. He was out of there so fast, a, a, a confirmation. I'm so used to these runners using the cheat sheet and they just know automatically. Um... Oh, he did get it, and then he got out of there. Okay, that's good. That's actually kind of a little bit of a time save for him then. Okay. All right, so he saved some time on Ragcore then. I just, I saw him miss the first one, and then he exits so fast. But, you know, yeah, I got confused there. Blick, blick, blick. Blick, 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 blick. Let's give uh, Old Man Beardy Locks a little bit of room on his timer here. Let's move that over there. All right. All right, first Hammer Brother move for Agcorp. Forward moving bro. That is unfortunate. Not going to be able to get that RNG point. However, oh, Old Man Beardy Locks gets the upside down spike clip. I have done that before. I'm wondering if that's the first time that's ever happened to him. Because if it is, it's probably the last time that that's ever going to happen. Oh, Rancor is not going to be able to do this. How is he going to do this? What's he get? Yeah, he's got to ditch it. It's a great opportunity for um, Old Man Beauty Locks to kind of like line it. Oh, never mind. He can take the lead here with one point. Because they both took damage. You want to know what Rancor's problem was with with um, with this? Oh, and Old Man Beauty Locks does the collision. Um, Raycor didn't get the initial P-Speed and missed the turtle, and that just set all of the rhythm up in this level to go downhill. And it's crazy to think how one small thing at the start of the level that has nothing to do with anything else in the level is actually the direct cause of the level going the way it did. It's just, it's really unfortunate, um, but that's how speedrunning works. You get into rhythms with levels, and you need to make mistakes to get out of those rhythms to try and actually come up with a lot of backup strategies. So it's all it's all a learning process. From, you know, from my from my own experience, of course. Right on, getting that sun, get him out of the way. Well, maybe he locks going for the shell here. I'm not sure exactly what it's for. Getting stuck in the twister. I think he's trying to swag slash meme, getting punished for it. Not entirely sure, but he gets out of the tornado. He's out of there. Getting, yeah, getting punished for the swag. The swag memes. And Raycor not getting the fanfare, which is really nice. Old Man Beardy Locks, though, he does have two stars. Gets a little scary at this point. He does get to do 2-5, though, which is a much more comfortable level than 2-4. Nice, we've seen a couple runners get that backup mushroom. Very nice. We should be safe here. Do that little extra duck jump to be safe. Right core in the pyramid. Looking good. And grab the shell. Nice. And he doesn't get a fanfare. That's really good for old man beauty locks. These runners are still tied in points. Right core does have a pretty good lead. He's in the lead by about two and a half hammer brothers now. Old man beauty locks. First bro is going to move forward. So no, not going to be able to get it. Does take damage. Um, so from, from watching a lot of runners in this tournament, there is one little piece of advice that I can definitely give that I've seen a lot of runners do. And it's messing up inside the Boomerang Bro um, little mini mini fights. And the one, the one piece of advice that I could give is that you don't have to rush so much to fight them because you have to wait for the Boomerang anyways, right? So there's no point in trying to stomp on him early or kill him super fast or maneuver around him and, you know, make sure, make sure you get all these stuff because you have to wait for the Boomerang anyways. So um, when, you, when you do the Boomerang Bro, little mini things you should just kind of take your time and just stomp them 
when the coast is clear, right? Because, yeah, you gotta wait for the boomerang anyways. But, regardless, you know, that's just how it is. Rancor on the airship, old man Beater Locks followed behind. Boom. Did Rancor get the throne jump? I was kind of off on a little... It's kind of off on my own little thing there. I, 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 Rancor got the first throne jump. Did he get the second one, though? That's the question. We'll find out later. Um... Pretty, pretty rough world one and two uh, for these two runners. Um, they did get the 10 bucks at the start of world two, but they did not get the red rocket or the backwards bro. There's a skill point and RNG point in world two and they didn't get either. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate, but not a big deal. There's still a lot, a lot of games left. Okay, well, we'll have to find out later. If uh, if chat doesn't really know, then uh, we'll have to check back later. All right, Raycor on to 3-1, going for the frame jump. Ooh, and he doesn't get it. Very unfortunate. Leaving an open space there for Old Man Beardy Locks to get the throne jump. Or sorry, not throne jump, the 3-1 frame jump. Let's see if he gets that. Um... Raycor, yes, Raycor and Old Man Beardy Locks both have taken damage in World 2. So unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get it. Very nice. Not in the Runaway Bro range. Not in the Runaway Bro range. Trying to get the early P-Speed in 3-2. I think he was holding left a little bit too long and then kind of had somewhat of a big jump onto the moving platform. It's not going to... Ooh... That's the worst part. The, the, there's like a weird little trick to these fish. You have to like kind of do like a quick turn back or something. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the fire flower there. Oh, an old man beater locks does not get that shared point. That was a great opportunity, um, but it is it is a tough point to get. So it is, it is a tough point to get. Movement of one. That's good for Raycor. The bump master, man. I love Raycor. He's got these, these master the bumps. Very nice. I'm gonna go for that P speed right there. I always find it cool to watch runners uh, do P speed tricks and stuff when that P switch is activated because it's just like it's so uncommon for me. So I really like to watch runners um, and how they do it and stuff because it's it's kind of like a little new to me. Um, oh, an old man just shore hops just by a little too much there. Not gonna get it. Bum, bum, bum. All right, Raycor's probably gonna go for door four here. Gonna use the metronome. And he does get it, very nice. The help of a good old friend, the metronome. Neither runner in the runaway, bro. You know, I'm so surprised at how much. Oh, old man getting, getting hit with that music note. Um, I'm surprised at how much this tournament is not getting runaway, bro, and how many no hands we've already gotten. It's actually been pretty, uh, pretty cool. I mean, minus the runaway. I mean, in, in this, in this time, runaway will give you points, but what a surprise game, not working when you want it, and then, uh, you know, your best run ever by the time you get to World 3, and of course, or... The other thing with Mario 3 is like you reset all night and then you finally get a run to World 3 and it gets run away. And that's, I think that's like one of the worst things ever. Old Man Peter Lock's gonna go for door four. Oh, nice try. Very nice try. I always get excited for door four because it's one of those things where 
like nobody has to be like amazing at the game like you could be the worst player in the world and like you still can accidentally press up at the right time and get the door so the, like the, there's no like skill cap when it comes to door four and that's why i always like that trick like anyone can get it and anyone can practice it and it's like it's not complicated with how it works you just press up and then you press up again at a, at the right time and you're in Nice. Beard, Beardy Locks is going to use a music box here. Yes. Okay. So he has been practicing. He knows this scenario. That's good. I like to see it. Very nice. Finishing up World 3. Old Man Beardy Locks. Does get his Fire Flower back, which is good. And then he's probably going to Cloud, and he's got the last two levels. So you can already see that there's a pretty big difference between speed with the runners. Um, old Man Beardlocks is going to have a lot of trouble being able to catch up to Rancor. Rancor is going to have to accidentally use a Cloud at the wrong time. He's going to have to take a couple deaths uh, and kind of dim down those points here. But as it seems, they're... They're only one point behind. Technically two if we uh, count time points for Old Man Beardy Locks. He's only two points behind, which, as you guys have seen in some races, that's not that big of a deal. But we'll see. Time for a drink. Nice, shooting that Piranha Plant. I, I I feel like he's taken damage there before, which a lot of us have. Oh, oh, he tried to get the wall jump there too. Very close to the H jump. Very close to the H jump. All right. All right, it's weird how this boss like how the enemy looks to what's been transformed and then it turns into like Mario You know when I was a kid I never noticed that that king looked like Mario I never noticed anything like that I also never noticed that world four islands were shaped like a turtle look it's a turtle face I never noticed that either All right next point for Raycor getting Potum P speed. That's right Potum P speed Everything's got P in it, guys. Very nice. Bottom piece P. That's good. Get those extra points. Wow, we're already in World 4, man. This game goes by very fast. Not bad RNG. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You want to you wanna get rid of this cloud as early as possible. Being as he used the music box in World 3... He's gonna have to do the fortress, so if the Hammer Brother starts running away from him after this level, um, he's gonna have to chase it all the way down by 4-4, which means the Hammer Brothers have a higher chance of switching and giving him star inventory, and, and it's just a big nightmare. Nice! Old Man Beardy Locks with the fire kill. Very nice. A lot of both of these runners are kind of new to Mario 3 and Mario 3 speedrunning. I think they both have been hanging around and doing stuff for close to a year now. Um, I know Rancor's been around for a while. Old Man Beaterlocks, I'm not entirely sure, but I have verified some of his videos on speedruns. Uh, he did do like 3D, um, the 3D emulator of Mario 3 for a while. He was doing that. Um, yeah. I don't really know much. I don't know a whole lot about these two runners. Just Ragcore. I've seen him in my channel a lot. He's a he's a big viewer. All right, Ragcore going to use the star here. Old Man Beardlocks now in World Four. His opportunity to get some points here. Um, close the, close the gap a little bit. Ragcore messing up his jumps, so he knows he's going to have to do um, the bottom section if he wants to keep his fire flower. Old Man Beardy Locks with the dope strats, but he does rub his face and he did lose P-Speed, unfortunately, so he's not going to be awarded that point. That is a tough one. Nice, right court with the double turn back. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Oof, this level's rough, man. Poor, poor. Nice, old man Beauty Locks. Get out of there. Rancorn Force is going to have to take the bottom section here. Uh, he's going to be swimming blind. Oh, very close. Very close. Yeah, swimming blind's rough. Old man Beardy Locks, that had to have been a movement of five. Four or five. Right? No, that was a movement of five. And what? How, what's he doing here? Raycor getting a movement of four, not a movement of five. That was definitely a movement of five for old man, right? He moved down, moved left, the other one moved right, then moved down, and then came back up. So yeah, that had to have been... Whoops. I had to have been a marathon. Raycor going for the duck jumps. Oof. Gotta keep those duck jumps going. Oh, and just like that, he loses it. Dang, man. The 4-6 has gotten so many people lately. It's gotten so many people. Uh, old man Beardy Locks with an actual, like, really good progressive play here. He's going to use Music Box before this level because he knows the Hammer Brothers asleep for two levels. It's going to allow him to pass the other Hammer Brother and then grab the Cloud there. Very cool. He's also going to save a little bit of time here by not taking the bottom path like how Ragcor did. Oh, ragcore has got to go for the big jump here. Very nice. That jump was one of the hardest jumps when I was a kid. I didn't understand that one. So I never jumped off the dry bones. So this, so this level was always tough for me. The one that Raycor's in right now. Alright, old man. Old man, beauty locks. Let's see what we got. He's gonna grab the fire flower. Man, in terms of speedrunning, Nintendo put the fire flowers in the worst places. In the most non, like, helpful areas. Right? There's nowhere other than, like, two airships. I think World... I think World, um... World 2 and World 5... And well, obviously World 1, I guess. 3-4 is... 3-4 is still not all that convenient. There you go. So now Old Man can actually get the P-Wing and the Cloud if he wants. Which is actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Very nice. Oh, so he's doing a different strategy here now. Very nice. Oh, so hold on. Wow, nice. What a great backup. That was actually incredible. So right there, he got the duck jumps and they are tied back up in points. Very good, man. Very good. That is a love to see it moment. Raycor is finishing up the airship. Nice. Old Man Beauty Locks almost got a full clear World 4 here. Oh, going right through the boss. That's, oh man, that's what I hate the most about these bosses. You just go right through them. All right, one person off the airship, one person on the airship. Do, 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 do. Stretch the legs, guys. All right. 
Right court, coming into world five, probably gonna use the P-Wing here. Yes, very nice. Got three fire flowers in his inventory. Very nice. Oh, misses the duck fly. That, that's a pretty chunky time loss because uh, by the time you realize you missed it, you gotta go back, you gotta get the duck fly. The worst is when you clip into the ceiling and then you stand up, but then you can't fly anymore and then you gotta go down and around. Oh, it's just a nightmare. No movement of four for him, though. Nice, right core gonna go for the 282 fall. Tail swipe. Wow. Oh, no, he had it. Oh, what? And he was inside that block. That is insane. He was inside that block. I'd never seen that. That was pretty cool. He's going to use the music box. Still no movement of four here. Nice, Old Man Beardilocks does finish up the World 4 airship. Very nice. Time for him to clean up some points. He can get a couple points on Rancor here. We, we so far have not had somebody win in just points over time. So Rancor could win all the races in time, but not clutch out as many points as Old Man Beardilocks. We have not had that yet, and that's we're still in line for something like that to happen. Rycor is doing very well in terms of speed, though. He is going very fast. Old Man Beardy Locks does have the back pocket point, though. Where Rycor does not. Oh, and he takes damage there. Not the end of the world. And that's what I was talking about, what just happened to Old Man Beardy Locks. With the stand-up, you can't fly anymore, and you get stuck there. Oof. That's roughness. All right, let's see what happens here. A little bit of slow jump here, so if, if he's gonna go for the points. Oh, he is gonna go for it. Good luck. All right, Rycor with the bumps and the menus, but he's got it. Let's see if he gets this. Both of them are in points range. Oh, and Old Man Beardlocks does get the rub, so I don't think he's gonna be able to get it. And Rycor takes the death right there. Scary. That's why that point is in the risky point section. Very risky. Old Man Breedilock's not going to be be able to get the 282, but that's okay. Uh, he doesn't know his opponent died, though. And uh, have both runners used their lifelines? I think they have. I think both runners have used their lifelines. I'm moving to four still. Gotta get this early P speed. Does get it, very nice. Nice, he's gonna use that, he's gonna use that tail to damage boost. Thank goodness he didn't have a fire flower when he took that death there. Oh man, Beauty Lock's still not getting any movements of four here. Got this music box though. Right on. He's gonna enter. He's a small Mario master, man. He just loves doing the small Mario stuff. This is rough. No P speed. He's got to do a very small jump onto this platform here. Or wait. I guess waiting's just just as fine. It honestly beats taking a death.
Right, Cor can use this fire flower here. Here and now. Oh no. Old man, oh, old man Beardy Locks is very close to a coin ship there. Oh, and Raghor loses his Fire Flower. That's going to be another point for him. <gasps> and Beardy Locks takes the death right there. Just, man, Beardy Locks had a chance there. He was ahead by a couple points. He didn't have Fire Flower, though, so he's okay as well. The same, same with Raghor. A lot of runners have been dying quite a bit in these levels. 5-4 casual without P-Speed is actually pretty tough, though. It's a pretty tough level. Very nice. Hey, Old Man Beardy Locks with a movement of four. Maybe he can bring it back. He's got to get P-Speed here, though. And he does get PCP. Very nice. Neither runner is going to get that point. Gonna take damage boost. Get his P-Speed. Very nice. Alright, Raghor is out of there. No movements of four for Raghor. Old Man Beardylock's almost getting a fanfare, though. That's, that's kind of scary. Old Man Beardylock's had one... That... He had to get three movements of four in a row there to, to, to bring that, so unfortunately he can't. Um, the interesting thing is that with, with the way that the time is working right now, Old Man Beardy Locks is set up to get in second place. So I'm actually going to select that now so we can get the more accurate here with uh, points because it seems like 5-5 five, five is how it is right now. Nice. No movements of no movements of four. He does have to fight that hammer brother though, because he's out of music boxes. So he does have to fight that hammer brother. Raycor has already lost his Fire Flower, so if he loses it here, that's not that big of a deal. Especially since you can just get the leap in the Fortress and kind of damage boost that way. Makes it a little bit easier. Oh, he gets a movement of four there, but I don't think that was three movements of four. I think he's only gotten two movements of four. Doesn't get the P speed. I hope he knows how to deal with it. It's still pretty much move forward and jump. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? Oh, that's rough. He jumped right into it. And that's the three movements of four, so... Okay, that's great. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and he takes another death. He's The game is giving him points and taking them away. And another movement of four right there. The game giveth and taketh. This level's tough without the P-Speed. Now, the first death that Beardy Locks did, I, I have to say that that was definitely his own fault. He definitely jumped into that Koopa. Oh, and he jumped into the Koopa again! The double Koopa jump! And another movement of four. So many movements of four here. He's like, that's it. I'm using a P-Wing. I'm out of here. I missed it. I missed it. What was Raycor's um, Hammer Brother battles? That was a pretty rough go for Beardy Locks. 5-8 is pretty tough. Uh, let's play. Yeah. So, he got top. Okay. Thank you very much. He got high pattern. All right. Old man is out. Nice. Nice. And I still don't think Old Man Beardy Locks has equipped a Fire Flower yet, so he so he still has not lost that. Very nice. He's out of there. Very nice. He is out of there.
Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> He's got, he has a lot of music boxes, so that, that was definitely called for. I think he fought the Hammer Brother earlier. Um, did he get the bottom pattern there, though? High, low for Rancor, right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, right on. Okay, high and low for Rancor. Uh, he still has not got any inventory stars yet. Which is pretty pog. And Old Man Beardy Locks finishing up the airship. I think Old Man Beardy Locks is in a position where he's not going to be able to get over one hour. So this is going to be pretty scary for him. Uh, Rancor... Ooh. This is going to wake the Hammer Brother up. But Rancor need not worry. He has two more music boxes. So he has one that he can use whenever he wants. And he doesn't need to use it here. He could, but he doesn't need to. But very nice. No inventory stars for Rycor as well. And just like that, that is what... Oof. Oh, he takes the, takes the damage there. Dang it, man. Old Man Beardy Locks with three... He's taking four deaths. He would be in the lead right now with points. He would be in the lead right now with points. And he has the leap for World 6, so he can get two more points in World 6. <gasps> Raycor might get a coin ship here, that's right! And he got it on number, he gets a coin ship! No! He got a coin ship. Yeah, he stopped on the map, he's like, shit, did that just happen? All right, Old Man Beardy Lock's first pattern was bottom pattern. I love this race right now. Both these runners, a lot of a lot of weird and random things are happening. Um, yeah, I like it. Nice. Old Man Beardy Lock's first pattern was low pattern. Very nice. Right core gonna go for first try wall jump. Oh, he didn't get the sub pixel, unfortunate. He's working on it though. I think he got the clip there, but I think he missed it. There's a slight cutoff. I'll keep my eye out though. There you go, he does get it, very nice. Every runner in this tournament can do wall jumps, yes. I'm not sure exactly what Old Man Beardy Locks is doing. He's sitting on the overworld map. I think he's trying to figure out which Hammer Brother is which, but you're not gonna be able to tell from that point. It's best to beat the level and then see which way they're, uh, which direction they're facing. And uh, he's, he's pretty short on time right now. He has 20 minutes, or sorry, he's got 22 minutes to finish up the last three worlds. Well, two and a half, I guess. He's got half of world six left. Uh, he does not want to get the star point, so it's true. And that is the right hammer brother that he wants to fight. Ooh, and he's putting it to sleep, and he didn't... Oh, he doesn't have the extra P-Wing, that's right. Rough, rough go. That That is the hammer brother he does want with the cloud. Nice, goes for tail swipe, you gotta watch out. All right, nice. Man, both these runners still doing a great, great job. There's a lot of things that I'm, I'm not used to seeing, so even for me, I try and figure out what's going on with some of these runners, with some of the decisions they make. Uh, I don't think anything is bad, obviously. I mean, every runner, I think, has done a great job. <laughs> except that, except that. That. I feel like Rancor made that same mistake last time. That is not something. Oh, it's a good thing he didn't land on the coin ship. Oof. That would have been pretty rough. Very unfortunate there. The two deaths. Old Man Beardy Locks taking a death in the fortress. 
And he did get high and low pattern though, so he is going to be able to get that, but unfortunate that one is the star so he was right all along or he was wrong the whole time it was the one over there very unfortunate but he does get the high low and he but he's gonna lose the star inventory point i wonder i think Rancor died in the same spot last time didn't he on the airship the same place or was that i know somebody died in that exact same spot in this tournament i just don't remember who exactly it was all right old man beauty locks Gonna get revenge on the fortress. I hope he remembers to use his leap in his inventory. Three points, baby. Old man, Beauty Locks is the small Mario master. All right, remember to use that leaf. Nice, and he did. Good, good, good. These points have been close this entire tournament. This is crazy. All right, Raikor is going to be the first one to enter. 7-1. Oh, dang it. That's okay, man. It happens. We've all been there. He's doing some pretty good jumps. Just unfortunately, they're not connecting with subpixels. Well, man, Beardy Locks, if he gets wall jump first try, this would be pretty pog for him. Oh, nice try. Oh, third try. Very nice. Yep, everyone can do wall jumps here. Very nice. Not getting the fanfare. Right core stuck, man. He's in a rough spot right here. Very nice. He's definitely safe. Pipe to pipe, too. Gotta love that pipe to pipe action. No, don't get punished. There's one turn back. I think he's still good. He's still good. Oh, yeah. That was kind of close to 292. That was kind of close, but he didn't get it. Any bumps on the overworld map yet for him? Very nice. Wow. Very nice fortress for Raycor. Very nice. Oh, no. He did the runoff, though. Oh, no. Oh, so close. Oof. Scaring me. Damn it. He had the right jump, but he had bad subpixel. That is very unfortunate. He jumped perfectly, but had a bad subpixel. Those dang subpixels.
Come on. You know what? At this point, go inside the level. Yeah, just get in there. I want it. We want to see what's going in. Ah, uh, I mean, yay! <laughs> Very nice for Redcore getting in there. And it's Old Man Beardy Locks' turn. Oh, second try for Old Man Beardy Locks. Very nice. No bumps yet for Redcore. And yeah, he's taking it slow. What about old man Beardy Locks? Any bumps there? Oh no, Raycor! Yeah, he's gotta grab this. Okay, very nice. Alright, old man Beardy Locks getting through. Don't die! Oh my goodness. Ah, old man Beardy Locks going for the pipe to pipe. He didn't have to, he wanted to. That's what I like to see. Very nice. All right, no bumps for Rykor. Is he gonna go for Fire Flower or get the, la the later one? He's gonna get the later one, very nice. Oh, no later one here. All right. All right, Beardy Locks. You're very close in score, so you gotta make it work here. Nice, and he makes it work. No punishment point. 293. Very nice. He's gonna get the mushroom. I guess he doesn't want to double power up in world. Ooh, old man Beardy Locks does not have the fire flower here. All right, here we go, 183. He needs to get this point so that Rancor cannot get too much of a lead on him. Wow, oh, very nice. Just like that, Rancor, no bumps. One eighty-three. Beardy locks. If Old Man Beardy Locks can get first try clip and no bonks, they are tied in points. And I've already given Old Man Beardy Locks second place. Oh, he was so close. Yeah, there we go. He gets it. He definitely brought a lot of time back. Uh, the difference between both runners, 7-6. Uh, was probably close to a minute, so. Uh, old Man Beardlock's definitely bringing that back. No bumps yet for him, though. I don't think either runner can actually finish in sub-60, so we're gonna have a points war here. Uh, these two, these, this matchup, I don't, it's not going to come down to time at this point anymore. I don't think so. Uh, some of the other Mario 3 runners know the whole World 7, World 8 time thing uh, better than I do. So yeah, I think it's all coming down to points here for game one. Old Man Beardy Locks did do wall jump faster as well, yes. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be very close for Rycor to get under under an hour. That's kind of what I do. Yeah, I just look at like the 10, like World 8 takes like 10 minutes almost, right? World 8 is like 9 minutes with like a perfect or something. I don't even know. Or like, I think about in any percent no wrong warp, how you get to world eight with two minutes on the timer already, and the run is 10 minutes and 40 something. Yeah, you're gonna have to cloud. There you go, nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Rancor actually has time to get sub 60. Because in any percent no wrong warp, you enter world eight with two minutes already on the timer. And like I said, the world record's like 1040. So yeah, world eight takes about eight minutes and something, right? Eight, nine. He needs to get like no hands and stuff. Yeah, yeah. When I say world eight takes like eight or nine minutes, that's when that's with no hands. Uh, if Core does this in under 60, he's going to make game two very difficult for Old Man Beauty Locks. It's going to make it very difficult. Um, but the good news is, is Old Man Beauty Locks has time to get the combo points in Conveyor P-Speed. I'm pretty sure. So we're not going to be outclassed there, but we are in auto scroller land. So don't forget the stretch, guys. Don't forget to grab a drink. All right. Ah, oh, no Wrangless. No, you don't have to pay to enter these tournaments. Nope. Nope, not at all. Nice, old man Beardy Locks finishing up the Air Force. And by Air Force, I mean World 7 Airship. Yeah, you need under an hour in Warpless to qualify. Um, but... So many people have entered the tournament that it's not a guarantee that you will qualify depending on how many people I want to enter. I think for season four, I'm not going to have a cap for people to enter. I think I'm going to allow everyone to enter and we'll have the biggest of the big. All right, right, Core, you need no hands, and then you need to not panic. All right, he got no hands. No way. So many people got no hands. In this tournament, he needs to not panic, though. I, I don't know if he knows that that just gave him an opportunity for uh, sub 60. We'll see, right? He's got to not panic. Yeah, he needs to not mom spaghetti this. You can see in his movement, he's panicking a little bit, but I think he's got it under control. It doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. Um, when you get no hands, it's stressful. All right, now he's got to now he's got to get the combo points here. Oh no. Not going to be able to get that combo point. Being chased by... Oh! The despawn! No way! 
the despawn because of the four bullets. The four bullets despawn the turtle shell. I I don't think I've ever seen that. Like I knew that that could happen, but I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think I've ever seen it. Damn, man, that is unfortunate. Not going to be able to get the combo point. Going to lose a point, and Old Man Beardy Locks is catching up. They are tied. I've already give I've already given Old Man Beardy Locks second place. So they are they're tied. The only thing left that Ragcore can get is Conveyor because I don't think he can get under 60. I've never seen that, man. I've never seen it. I've never seen that despawn happen to someone like that. Never seen that. Yes, unfortunately, Beardy is going to get the minus point there for this for the 60. But so is Ragcore, right? Like I I don't know the times perfectly, but I'm pretty sure Ragcore is not in a range here. Come on, old man beardy locks, no hands. Double no hands, that'll be crazy. Ah, oh, of course. Raycor had some mom spaghetti after those no hands. It happens though, you know? Like, it's not anyone's fault, it's just what happens in this game. Yeah, it's hard, man, when that death happens. He was doing very well, yeah. No, he was doing very well, you're right. He didn't get the P speed, right? Um, which unfortunately is kind of what caused him to not, you know, uh, make it work. But he was playing well, um, and that despawn, definitely, um, I've definitely a situation of I've never seen that before for sure. Mario 3 still has those. Whoa, Old Man Beardy Locks. Okay, so Old Man Beardy Locks is in, a, in, his, in somewhat of a comfortable position here because Raycor is not going to make the one hour mark. At least I don't think so. And Old Man needs to make sure he doesn't die anymore. Die, he can't die at all. He can't die at all. So lucky that that did that did he can sub hour here oh it looks like he can it he does have the hammer suit it looks like he can it's tight but i think he can then that'll be big that'll be big for Raycor because right now if Raycor doesn't sub hour if he doesn't sub hour they are tied in points well if i don't know if old man beauty locks can get the combo point here. Old man Beardy Locks with the 289. He could get it. Right for getting through it. Oh man, this is big. This is too much for me. He did it. He did it. I think he did it. Oh, an old man Beardy Locks takes the death. That was his last chance there. That was his last chance. Oh, 59 55. Insane, man. Way too close. Way too close.
He's not gonna get punished there, so that's actually gonna be pretty good to him. What is the three to six, right? All right, let's give them a five minute break there. This is crazy, man. Yeah, everyone take a quick little break. You guys are lucky I'm not hungry yet, so... I had my own breakfast before the race started, guys. That's right. Yeah, you just sit back, relax, take a break. Look at some memes. Did I watch the Jake Paul fight? No, I'm not watching that crap. What was it? What was it? A Jake Paul fight and no pixel? Nice. I'm glad Pooh is there wooing. That seems like something Pooh would be interested in. Did Beardy give up? No, he didn't give up. The run stops at the hour mark. Yeah, the run stops at the one hour mark. Right, so both runners put the controller down at 60 minutes. Yeah, if you, yeah, you got a meme when you're doing Mario 3. Oh, it was a boxing match on pay-per-view last night. Wow. Jake Paul's a boxer. He fought someone like two or three years ago, didn't he? More like boxing match, shit was a scam. Yeah. As soon as you said pay-per-view, I was like, what? That still ex what the fuck's pay-per-view? It still exists?
One boxer faked getting punched in the balls and went out on a stretcher. Oh, I can't fight. My balls burst. You burst my balls. Yeah, isn't pay-per-view such like a 90s concept of paid-for TV through satellite, right? Remember, remember everyone was installing satellite dishes in like 1998 and stuff? He legit took a body shot and then he acted like it got cut off. CNET.com. COVID funeral reimbursement. Now $9,000. Here's how to apply today. If your relative passed away from the coronavirus, the government may help pay funeral and burial costs. Here's what the application process looks like and how to get started. Well then. Nintendo is suing Switch hacker Gary Bowser. Eurogamer.net. Nintendo is suing a Switch hacker called Gary Bowser. As reported by Polygon, Nintendo of America filed a lawsuit against 51-year-old Canadian national Bowser, who is an alleged member of Switch hack creators team Executor. That's right. President of Nintendo of America, Doug Bowser, is suing a Nintendo hacker called Gary Bowser. This is the battle of Bowsers in court. <sighs> Nintendo finally doing something about Bowser. Uh, cause emulator fluctuates. It's just the way it works. All right. All right. These runners are ready to go. You were reading about that this morning. Bowser was apparently charging for the hacks. That's what happens, man. It's like when people, that's like when people start selling super Mario world ROM hacks, they get in big trouble for that. Big trouble for that. You're not allowed to sell that shit. Right, if I started selling mini Kaizo Bros 3, which first of all probably wouldn't make any money, but if I tried to and it did make a lot of money. Whatever happened to that guy who made his own Mario Mario 1 Battle Royale? Whatever happened to that guy? Did he get in trouble too? Very interesting ordeal. He's locked in content. Well, what do you guys think? Do you guys think the guy hacking and selling hacks for the Switch, do you think he was in the wrong? Do you think that's wrong? Do you think that's bad? Or do you think Nintendo's too serious with this stuff? I think both as well. I think Nintendo is way too serious with this crap, like some things. Like, I think Nintendo is way too serious with some things, but at the same time, like, come up with your own games and sell them. Quit ripping off other people. Quit stealing Nintendo Switch hacks and selling them. Like, come up with your own idea, you, you loser. You deserve to be sued because you didn't come up with your own shit. You don't own that stuff. But at the same time, Nintendo is so strict on such silly things. This is not one of them. But Nintendo has been pretty known for their silly things that they do.
Yeah, come up with your own games, man. Stop stealing other people's shit. This points tournament's my own idea. I mean, it's not crazy successful, but at least it's my own thing, right? Going around stealing shit. I learned at a very young age that stealing's wrong. He might own the code of the hack, though, that's right. But he should do it with his own shit. I did steal this idea from the wizard, that's true. Nintendo lawsuit. Yeah, Nintendo's gonna attack me for the points tournament. <laughs> Yo, what time did you get in your run last night, Tampa? All right, on three from go. All right, is Twitch chat ready? 113.37, nice. That's pretty good for a first warpless run. Not gonna lie, man. All right, here we go. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, who's gonna start first here? Who's gonna start first? Right on, it's gonna be Rykor. All right, here comes Beardy Locks. Now, I want to see both of them clean up a 1-1 one, one here. I want to see both of them clean up a 1-1 one, one here. Ooh, Rykor, gonna lose P-Speed there. This turn back was a little thick. Nice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Done and done. All right. Ooh, Rancor getting to move to two. Old man getting to move to one. He's going to be able to catch up a little bit here. The points are still very, very close. What, what did we have? We had three to six, did we not? It was three to six. That's still very close. Ooh, Rancor getting a little stuck here. We're on race two for some of those who are showing up a little late. We're on race two. Very nice. Old man Beardy Locks taking the lead there. Rancor, what is happening, buddy? You won race one. What is going on? You're gonna have to pull it together, man. You're gonna have to pull it together. You did win race one, man. You got this, dude. You got this. Both runners got this. Old man Beardy Locks falling down in that little spot again. Very unfortunate. Rancor definitely needed that tunnel, but he looks like he's starting to go a little fast now. He's like, that's it. That's it. I'm done with these deaths. He's got it. Both these runners got it. He'll pull it back together. Ooh, old man Beardy Lock's going for those extra map movements again. We have a race after this. It's Teeks versus WRD, but it's not right after. Um, I think their race is... Oh, old man getting the leaf again. That is incredible. That's really good RNG. Um, I think the race after is 2 p.m. Eastern, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know exactly when these races are. I just know that as long as I'm at my computer, I will be here for all the races. I haven't been late for any races yet in the tournament, so that's good. Oh, Rancor also getting the leaf as well. Very nice. And old man Beardy Locks with a good lead on Rancor.
All right, no throne jumps with these runners. Come on, get your thrones in. No, there's been no bad times uh, for races. I think I had one race... I think I've had one race in the tournament that started like 9 o'clock at night, my time. And then I had races in the morning. So like, I think that was the worst so far that I've had to deal with, which isn't even that bad. I mean, in, what, 9 p.m.? That's... Go to bed at like, what, 11, 30, 12? I think I had to get up at like 7 in the morning or something like that. I don't even know. So, no, I've, I, I, I haven't had a race at 2 in the morning or anything, which is really nice. All right, Old Man Beardlock's going to be the first one to enter World 2. Both runners done World 1. Neither runner got the tunnel, but Rycourt did take an unfortunate death. Running away. All right, he's going to go for... The 10 bucks. As long as he doesn't take a long time here, he can keep his lead. Let's get the 10 bucks though. Very nice. And he's out of there. Wow, he does the he does the spade card game fast. He's got the right idea with uh, no point in spending time. But because he's in the spade card game, I would recommend you should probably get some flowers and a couple stars here and there. Wouldn't hurt. Old man Beardy Locks not falling in the moat. That's good. That's what you want to see. Although he does have two flowers. He's going to have to watch out for this one. All right. Right course turn. He found the 10 bucks. Where's the other 10 bucks? Going to look at the cheat sheet. Oh, no. He flipped over flower. There you go. Get the 10 bucks first. There we go. Good, good, good. The flowers are not more important than the 10 bucks. But he does get it. Very nice. Well, too, as long as he doesn't fall in the moat. <sighs> Almost fell in the moat. That was really good. No Hammer Brothers yet in this world, too. And this race is very close. Technically, it is 8 to 10, I think. 10 to 8. Get some redemption here on the Red Rocket. He does get it. Very nice. Very nice Red Rocket strat. Oh, same Hammer Brother position for Old Man Beardy Locks as last time. It's kind of interesting. Sometimes the Hammer Brothers, man, they're just so the same all the time, and then sometimes they're not. Redcore going for Red Rocket first. Needs to make sure he doesn't make make a mistake here. Oh, Old Man Beardy Locks taking damage. That's going to be bad for the points. He needs all the points he can get. Redcore going to be able to get the Rocket. Very nice. It was going so fast that, like, clipped the side. All right, old man Beardy Lock going to get backwards movement. That's good. He needs to get collect some RNG points here. Remember what we said before. You have to wait for the boomerang to go off screen anyway. So once the boomerang bro throws it, you don't have to go crazy fast. There's no point in rushing. Right core also getting... Oh, he got forward movement, bro. It's unfortunate. Old man Beardy Lock's already having an infinitely better uh, run so far than his last run. And that's what I love to see. Right, Court cannot get the RNG points. Unfortunate. Old man Beardilocks can, though. Here's his chance. Let's see if he moves backwards. Oh, and he does not. That 
is rough. Well, that's it for both runners. They both got the forward moving bros. Old man got one, but not enough. Now he's onto the pyramid. Very nice. Raycor has not taken damage yet, so he has that like mild advantage. Um, I think both runners have their leaf. I think both runners got a leaf from the mushroom house. Um, but I know old man Beardy Locks for sure got the leaf. Very nice. And Raycor gets so many forward moving bros. Can't do anything. Yeah, you don't want to clip into the pyramid. That's dangerous. Dangerous. We just have to make sure Raycor does not take damage here. Not taking damage, that's good! Damn it! Okay, so Raycor it has some pretty good advantages here with points and stuff. And no mode of tears for me, the runner, so moving on to World 3. Old Man Beardy Locks is starting to lose a little bit of time compared to Raycor. Raycor is falling, or sorry, Raycor is starting to catch up a little bit here. So Beardy Locks is gonna have to start hauling some butt. Raycor also has a lifeline. I think he's the only one who has a lifeline, so he can still use that. Which uh, is, seems like a pretty good position here. Has Raycor, has Raycor done both throne jumps? I, I didn't think he did. I don't think he did both throne jumps. A lifeline gives you one free point throughout the entire tournament. One time only. All right, I marked Raycor down for both throne jumps so far. Beardy Locks needs to get the frame jump here. We need we need a frame jump here. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's what, okay, that's what I had thought. All right, does Raycor get it? Raycor does get it! Oh, that's gonna be very hard, man. Those points, points like that, right? Points like that, the shared points are very difficult, man. They're very difficult like that. Uh, type exclamation tournament if you want to get all the information for it. But the prize for this season's tournament is $1,000 first place, and then $300 and $200 for second and third. Well, $300 for second, $200 for third. Dude, old man Beardlock getting wrecked by that music note. He's got to start hauling ass, though. Old Man Beardy Locks is already taking damage, so it's up to Raycor. No runaway bro yet. Oh, you got door four last time, but not this time.
Yeah, out of the out of the two people who lost in the semifinals, the person with the most points of those two people will get the third place. Rancor not getting door three and Beardy Locks using the music box to get out of there. Very nice. This is still anyone's game. Uh, we are tied in points. Rancor does have a lifeline, so he could actually have seven points right now. Uh, we're not sure if he wants to use it yet or wait for um, wait for somebody else. I don't know. He he hasn't used it yet. I keep double checking. I keep checking back. Nice, and Raycor is definitely starting to catch up ever so slowly here on Old Man. He's got to keep that lead. He's got to stay crisp on his strats, man. Crisp. Right? Nice and crispy. Ah, uh, no! You can... No! You could have saved the music box, the screen scroll, right? You get one free input on the screen scroll. So Rancor could have saved that music box, but that's okay. It is what it is, right? Nice! Old man with the H jump. Love to see it. So if Rancor doesn't get that, then all the hard work he's been doing in World 3 to save some time back is going to be wasted. Oh, no. All right, he made it. All right, Raycor, you got to get that H jump. You'll catch up a lot of time because old, old man Beardy Locks was going for a swim. Went for a little swim there. Let's see if he gets it. And he does. Wow, that's going to be good for him. Wow, close to another coin ship. Yeah, that is very close. All right, both runners in World 3. Wow, Raycor definitely did catch up a lot. Unfortunately, only one point for these runners. Raycor has actually not taken damage yet. Old Man Beardy Locks did. I'm pretty sure Old Man Beardy Locks took damage in the sun level. Right? I feel like it was the sun level. Yeah, Raycor has not taken damage yet. Yeah, no, he is. Raycor has not taken damage yet. Nice, and he does get that point. No lost fire flower. It's getting harder for old man Beardy Locks here. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to shape up a little bit, especially by getting bottom piece speed. Very nice, and he does get it. Redemption for that point. I love to see it. Bottom P-Speed brings it back. Raycor going to go for the bottom P-Speed. Oh, he's going to do the same thing. Not a bad move. And he also gets it. Very nice.
Yeah, but your odds of winning the tournament or winning many races without being fast is unlikely because you lose a lot of points for not getting under 60. So like it's got a double it's got like a double edged side to it, right? You don't have to be fast to collect the points, but you only get one chance at specific points. And if you go too slow, you get punished for going too slow. Um, you have an hour, essentially. You have one hour to get as many points as you can and finish the run. So it's got like a, it's got like a, a tough thing there. Because uh, I, I have to prevent people from like dying three times and, and stuff like that to try and get points or go really slow to get all these other points. Just to make sure that stuff doesn't work. And Raycor and Beardy Locks in an awkward situation. Yeah, yeah, and you have to have luck too because we have to, right? If, you, if you're gonna make people, if you're gonna make the the guideline like, oh, you have to get under 60, like, it's gotta be fair for people with a 51 and fair for people with a 58. And, it, and to make things interesting, you gotta combine skill with luck and yeah. And it's not like a one-time thing. It's not like season one. Oh yeah, that was a marathon. Yeah, that was a marathon. It's not like it's not like there's only going to be only one season ever, right? Where it's like after season one, people are like, this sucked because it was all RNG and it's like everyone hated it. It's like, no, season two comes out with new points, refined RNG, refined skill points. Season three comes out with no new refined points. So uh, it's, it's very fun that way. I like it. And you, yeah, you get to have fun with it. Like, like I've created bad RNG in the game gives you points, so it's good for you. And and one season, you know, bad RNG will be bad for you. Yeah, right on. Those are the two Hammer Brothers you want, Beardy Locks. Those are the two that you want. Bring back Jesus Clip, never. Yeah, no, no marathon yet for Raycor. Getting all three hands was a point. That's right, in season one. Did he just get... Ooh. And Raycor getting gated under there. Old man with the star. That is very unfortunate. You do not want to get the star here. You do not want any inventory stars. All right, old man's going to go back to his old roots. Very nice. You have to do every jump in this level has to be a duck jump. Every single jump. So what he's decided, he's going to use a P-Wing. Duck jump fly and get out of there. But look what it's caused him. Unfortunately, Raycor has now entirely caught up. And it's going to surpass him here. Oh! Raycor with the unduck there is not going to be able to get that point. And Old Man Beardilox is going to get the full clear world four. And just like that, he has one point lead now. Wow. And Raycor didn't take the lead in time there. Old Man Beardy Lock's gonna get the P-Wing here. Um, if Raycor uses a music box, which... And just like that, Raycor has taken the lead. Guys, you would be surprised at how... How much Hammer Brothers make a difference. No shame, a point is a point. That's what I'm talking about. Why not? It's all about those points, man. Very close. Let's see if anyone's used the lifeline here. Raycor still has not used his lifeline.
And it's true, Tom, but that could happen. Oh man, this auto scroller. Let's go. We don't have all day. Actually, we do have all day, but still. Z Z Z resident sleeper all day. Z Z Z resident resident peeper. Oh, Rancor going he getting hit by the boss again, man. That was two both times in a row. These runners are very close to each other. Old man Beauty Locks coming in clutch here as well. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Choo, 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 choo. No lifeline, guys. Nice, using a P-Wing. Raycor is gonna slow down a little bit there. Oh no, man. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there. Come on, Raycor. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. That was weird. As soon as the chest spawn, it made a noise is when Beardy Locks took damage there. Very interesting. So what's gonna happen here? What's Beardy Locks gonna do? Is he gonna small Mario this? He has to, he doesn't have a choice. What? All right, very interesting. All right, let's see who gets it. Oh, nice try for Beardy Locks, but he's not going to be able to get it. Raycor, on the other hand, is going to be able to get it, though. Yes, but you have to get a 282 or higher. So unfortunately, Old Man Beauty Locks was unable to get that point. He did try for it though, but not a whole lot he can do. So he doesn't have the music box from 5-1, so I'm curious about what's gonna happen here. Well, actually he has, he already got the inventory star, right? So this might mean that he doesn't need to get the music box because he, he could just go through these Hammer Brothers. I think that's what he's thinking. That's actually not a bad idea. You might as well, right? No movement of four yet for me, the runner. Not yet, we'd notice. And that's exactly what Old Man Beauty Locks is gonna do. That's, that's what I figured. No point in getting the music box, right? Yeah, World 5 gets very difficult for a lot of runners um, in terms of uh, decision making and the levels are just odd. Old Man Beardy Locks, yeah man, that's the worst part about using a star there is that if you miss the pipe, you start somersaulting. You cannot enter pipes while you're somersaulting. That's so weird about this game. Raycor got the movement of four, put the Hammer Brother to sleep. So he's close to the, um, the three movements of four. He's got one of three. The same death as last time. Raycor is going to get another point taken away for a death right there. Still not getting a movement of four though. Very unfortunate. You can have peace speed with star, yeah, because when you when you when you have a star and you run with peace speed, you're not actually somersaulting. Oh man, yeah, those those vines are very slippery. Man, if Old Man Beardy Locks gets this strat, then he would definitely get a good, uh, get some good points here. And he is going to get it! And just like that! Increase in points. Raycord can use the star to get the P-Speed here. 
And he does get it. Very nice. Oh man, Breedilock's also going to use the star here. They both get it. Very nice. Thanks for the notification, Windows. Don't care. Raycor getting a second movement of four. He needs one more. And this seems like his last opportunity. Old Man Beardy Lock's close to a coin ship as well. He's got to be careful. Raycor not going to go for the Fire Flower. He's slipping up a little bit. I think that death has uh, choked him up just a little bit because Old Man Beardy Lock's is catching up. They are in the same level now. Both avoiding the Fire Flower. Not getting that movement of four. Unfortunate. Luckily, you can go down pipes when you have a star. Luckily, you can go down pipes when you have a star. I think they both got stuck on the same spot there. I think they both just got stuck on the same spot there on that block, on the side of that question block, didn't they? I think they both just did that. That was crazy. Oh man, Beardy Locks though is gonna have to go a little bit out of his way, fight that Hammer Brothers, so Rycor is still in the lead a little bit. Alright, old man Beardy Locks, you got this level, dude. You got it this time. Yes! 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 Old man Beardy Locks just saved like a minute and a half from his last race here. Very nice. Alright, both on the airship. Uh, if somebody could go back really quick and double check if Rancor got movements of four after he fought the music box in the cloud. I don't think he did. Um, but I just want to double check, make sure. Well, from the airship, Rancor has to make sure he does not take damage here. This would be really bad for him. And just like that, oh man, that was 100% commentary's curse. I'm so sorry. That's not my fault though. There's no way you can blame that on me. Oh my God, don't die. No. Okay, he's good. It's tied right now. Raycor's in the lead. Raycor has used his lifeline, so it is not tied. Raycor is in the lead by one point. He's also in the lead of time. Crap, I just checked his lifeline. Did he get a high or low pattern there? 
Old man Beardy Lock's getting a high pattern. I just looked at the Discord um, to see that he got the lifeline. So both runners getting high pattern. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Both runners getting high pattern. Very nice. Oh, man. Old man Beardy Lock's getting wrecked there from the Hammer Brother. But the bottom one is the one they want. Scary there for old man Beardy Locks. Oh no, I really hope he knows to jump up. Jump up over. Oh, he waited, very nice, okay. Either either one was fine. But that star was running out. Raycor with the death! Right into the fire chomp. Oh no. Okay, he got coins. What happened there? What happened? He had to like bonk his head or something. Gonna use a P-Wing here. Get the heck out of there. Oh man, Beardy Locks. No! With the high pattern, but that's okay. He already has Star Bro. So he has an opportunity to get low pattern here. That's an opportunity to get low pattern when the Hammer Brothers starts behaving. <sighs> Alright, that is not the bro he wants. No, he went right through it. Classic, classic mistake in this. Old Man Beardy Lock's getting all high patterns. Raycord taking another damage. He almost dies right there. He, Raycord needs to calm down a little bit. Right? He was just like rushing to go get that power up. He's running into guys and he's he needs to take it easy. Yeah, he needs, needs to relax here. He's not in that bad shape. He is behind by quite a bit of points. But Old Man Beardy Locks can't get the no inventory star. He didn't get the high or low pattern. Right? And, you know, it's just a lock and go. Very nice. All right. Does he remember to use his leaf? He does remember to use his leaf. Raycor is in an opportunity to get a very, very good World 6 in terms of points. He's got to get a low pattern here. Does not get a low pattern. Wow. But he avoids Inventory Star. That's good. Avoids Inventory Star. Old man Beardy Locks, is he gonna get wall jump first try? Oh, very nice try though. Does get it second try, damn! All right, Raycor has to remember to use his leaf here. Use that leaf. Don't forget. Very nice. All right, right cork. You got wall jump first try here. Oh, and that 
That's exactly what Rancor needed. No way, dude. That's exactly what he needed. Oh my, these races are insane. Got Fireflyer, he's gonna go for the clip. What's going on, Rancor? What the heck was that? Oh, come on! What are you doing? No, you had it! You took damage, so what? You should've just went back and conveyor it. Oh, no. The wall jump got taken away from him. He had it. It happens, though, guys. Not It happens. Yeah, it's a you hate to see a moment, but... You know, it, it happens. Not a big deal. Alright, moving on to World 7. Definitely keeps the race hot, that's right. Alright, old man Beardy Locks off the airship. Raycor just getting on the airship now. <sighs> Almost first try. It was a good jump. Almost second try. Very nice, very nice for old man Beauty Locks getting through there. Only a couple tries, so I think it was like three or four. Was that a bonk for old man Beauty Locks right after he used the star? Was that a bonk? He just cannot get that P-Speed. There we go, nice. Oh, he's in there all right. Oh, he makes sure he gets that pipe to pipe action going. Oh, he missed the pipe to pipe. All right, Rancor, no bumps. We gotta listen for Rancor's audio because he is the bump master. We gotta make sure he doesn't bump. Oh, old man Beauty Lock's almost dying there. He was like a pixel away from death. Rancor getting the clip, very nice. Old man Beauty Locks looks like he's not going to be getting punished. Very nice. And he bumped right there. That was a bonk. Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Ooh, and uh. Oh, and Rancor with the death. He's gonna, no, oh, he's gonna hammer suit. Weird. He could have just grabbed this mushroom, right? Oh, 
Oh man, Beardy Locks is not capitalizing on all of these points here. It's gonna, oh man, it's been such a great opportunity for Redcore. But he does get the clips very fast. Um, so let's see Redcore without using that hammer suit. He could have gone into the level, grabbed the mushroom. Then he would have been small more, I don't know. It's it, That was a, I think he made the right play with his comfortability. Like, I think that was the right thing to do. back he's got to go for it wow i did not think that that star was gonna come back oh my gosh that is crazy oh and right court not getting the 183 either Rykor needs this point. He needs first try clip here. Come on, Rykor, you got this. Oh. I don't know if Rykor can bring this back. Because he's going to get second place as well. Beardy locks, no bumps on the overworld map. Going into world eight. He does not have a lifeline, no. Come on, Rykor, clean it up. I mean, if Old Man Breedy Locks dies in the World 7 airship, that could be a pretty big swing too, right? Uh, but I don't think Rykor has a music box as well. For the Piranha Plant? Nice try for that mid clip. Yeah, it's whoever was ahead of the other person would technically get first and second. Locks gonna make it. All right, hold on a sec. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom.
Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was here. I was talking for a minute there. I forgot that I muted when I walked away to go to the bathroom, but I didn't miss anything, right? It, I saw Rancor's on the tank, so he didn't die on the airship. And then I was just kind of saying, like, this is this is just a classic case of kind of crumbling a little bit. I mean, he had... He was winning from race one and used lifeline and everything. Just so many deaths, unfortunately. Just so many deaths. Old man Beardy Locks, first one at the hands. And number one. Rancor also got no hands last race as well, didn't he? Uh, Rancor has time to make it to the fort. Yeah, he's he's got time. He's got six minutes. Old man Beardy Locks, only one hand. Very nice for Rancor. That is a tough power up to grab. Very nice. Almost lost it. What is he doing? Stop! Why is he so panicky and all over the place? Well, so what was what was the rush to get over there, right? That's the question. He worked so hard to get that power up and he lost it for, for a silly reason. Come on, Rancor, you got this, man. I want to see Rancor practice a lot and come back for season four. I want to see him come back for season four. That's what I want to see, because I know he's got it in him. And this is the first intro to, like, nerves, right? This is very nerve-wracking, man. I can't blame anyone.
I don't know what's in the Air Force crates. I feel like it's the same thing. Old man beauty locks, very nice. Yeah, well, you can't exactly. You can't. Did Rancor just get no hands again? Two no hands in a row. Old man Beardy Locks is actually going to get the combo points. Wow, very nice for old man Beardy Locks. Yeah, what's in that one single crate, Nintendo? Raycor with the death after getting no hands. And just like that, he's going to be punished with the hand. Old man Beardy Locks gets conveyor P speed. Oh, but he dies. Very unfortunate. He did get the conveyor P speed though. How did old man Beardy Locks get the point? He got 292, which is one more than two. He got it. He got the point because you, sir, did not read the rules. <gasps> oh no, he missed it. Yeah, get out of there. You, you ain't got no time for that. Well, unfortunately, they're both going to hit the um, hour mark. So uh, with Beardy Locks going to win here, uh, he really needs to work on trying to get that sub hour and um, it's a little bit more consistently, kind of like what Mike Omegata said. I mean, if, if, if Old Man Beardy Locks is going to be busting out uh, plus 10 scores for each race, you know, 12 or 13, then uh, yeah. yeah, he stands a very good chance all the time. Right? As long as you can get like 13 points per race, that's that's really good. That's not bad. That's not bad. But they're both going to get the uh, minus points for the 60. Raycor has a chance to get career high points. Um, but at this point, I think he's gotten a little inside his head. I, I know Trash Panda was saying the same thing for his races too. Um, that he, he couldn't get out of his own head. He couldn't you know, it's it's hard to continue with a positive attitude when you're thinking to yourself, well, I lost, I'm losing, um, I'm failing. You know what I mean? All those all those negative things that is very common for anyone to say in certain situations. Um, and the only way to get past that stuff is just simply by experience. That's all. That's just what happens. Just experience. So it's a live and learn situation. I, I think every runner, all the losers and all the winners in this tournament... I've done an amazing job, so, you know. Yes, Teeks versus WRD in 45 minutes, that is correct. And just like that, the run is going to end for both of these runners. Rancor is going to go for one last jump. I really hope he doesn't die right here. Okay, he is good. And Old Man Beardilox is probably going to finish off Bowser, but the run is both done for both of them. You might as well finish. What are you doing, Twitch? It's like pausing and unpausing. Stop. Yeah, stop, Twitch. And just like that, Old Man Beardy Locks is going to advance.
So we got a total of 14 to 10. Wait a tick, so I'm still in this? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Beardy locks? Wait a tick, I'm still in this? What the shit? It should be 14 to 9. No, it shouldn't because Rancor used his lifeline. Yeah, everyone is great runners, man. Everyone is great runners. You just uh, you just got to get past it. That's all. Not a whole lot you can do. It is what it is.